Well, good afternoon, family. We are excited about being with you again. Amen, amen. Let me ask you something. Are you getting accustomed to the voice of love? <laughs> are you getting accustomed to the voice of love? That's all you're going to get. All you're going to get is the voice of love that makes faith work. Because remember, he is love. And what he says is his faith. Mm-hmm. So every time we speak to you, we're speaking from a heart of love mm-hmm. that can make faith work, watch it, for you. Right. Yes. On Sundays, don't forget, Kingdom Discipleship Church at 11 o'clock on Facebook. Come be with us for an hour. And oh my goodness, and, and enjoy him with us. Shall we get started? Yes. Let's agree. Okay. Would you all agree with us? Say, Father, Father, we're so excited. We're so excited that the whole armor that the whole armor is already in place. Is already in place, and we position ourselves. And we position ourselves to see revelation. To see revelation about being right. About being right and being whole and being whole today. Today in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' so name. So let's go back to our foundation. Amen. And we're Amen. gonna go to Psalms twenty-three. Mm-hmm. First John four sixteen through nineteen. And we know, understand, recognize our conscience of by observation and by experience and believe, adhere to, and put faith in and rely on the love God cherishes for us. God is love, and he who dwells and continues in God dwells and continues in God, dwells and continues in him. In this union and communion with him, love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him because as Jesus is, so are we in this world. Hmm. There is no fear in love. Dread does not exist. But full-grown, complete love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, Mm -hmm. is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. Mm. We love him because he first loved us. See Galatians 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. Love makes faith work. Love makes faith work. Let me release something to you. That can change your life and perspective right now. All right? The weather is a parallel of what's going on in the spirit. Apostle and I were talking a minute ago. I was sharing the word of the Lord was in my mouth. was about don't get distracted by the seasons. Things are changing in the this, in this spirit just like they're changing in the natural. But everything in the spirit is for the good. Mm-hmm. When I released him to him, though, we began to kick it back and forth. This is what he said, though. He said, this is a season to not be double-minded. <clears throat> Can you hear that? Mm-hmm. This is a season not to be double-minded. What is that? To believe something and say something different. Mm-hmm. See, double-minded. To believe one thing and begin to say something else. Example, you've got a situation in your body, right? <clears throat> Don't talk about the situation. Talk about what Jesus has paid for. To see the situation correct. Mm-hmm. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 23. Now, we're going to do Psalms 23. I'm going to read that. We're going to read two verses, though, Mm -hmm. from where we're going to read three verses from Ephesians 6. We're going to read the 10th verse. Then we're going to read verse 14 and 15 because we want you to see how powerful this is when you begin to understand the rest of what we're going to release today about your mind and your mouth. Your mind and your mouth are crucial in this season Mm -hmm. for your greatest manifestation. Listen to 23. The Lord Jesus, oh my goodness, the Lord Jesus. Watch what he, he's my apostle, he's my priest, he's my intercessor, he's my advocate, he's my defender, he's my strong child, and mm-hmm. he's my good shepherd. Yes, he is. To feed me, to guide me, to shield me, I shall not lack nowhere. Remember, I shall not lack nowhere. I shall not lack nowhere <clears throat> because of the shepherd's ability to take care of me like he wants to take mm-hmm. care of me. I want to lie down in the fresh, green, tender grass. I want that. I want him to lead me beside the still and restful water. 
I want him to refresh me and restore my life myself. I want him to restore my soul. What is that? Renew my mind of Christ. Help me renew my mind of Christ to lead me in the path. We're coming back to this of righteousness in the paths of righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with him, not for my earning, but in Jesus' name and for his sake. Remember now, everything in the kingdom, all right, is about in Jesus' name mm-hmm. and for his sake. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yes, I walk through the deep sunless valley of the shadow of death, the earth. I will fear and dread no evil, for the Lord is with me. The rod to protect, the staff to guide, and they're with you all the time to comfort you. Why comfort? Peace. One of the attributes of peace mm-hmm. is comfort. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. <clears throat> He's prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies, feared out in unbelief. Don't have no power in you. You got, you remember you got love? Mm-hmm. You got power and a sound mind. That's what you got yes. as a believer. Yes. Surely and only goodness and mercy. Unfailing Lord shall follow you all the days of your life because you're the temple now. Watch this. Don't look to be somewhere. Look to be who you are. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. What this arm is about now is protecting your body. This morning in my time with the Lord, just for my baby read, Ephesians 6 and 10 first. Watch this now. He said, Say the Lord's prayer. I shall cast our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. He said, Stop right there. I said, Okay. He said, You know I'm in you, right? Mm-hmm. I said, Yeah. He said, Watch this. For me to be your protection, you got to believe I'm up on you too. I said, Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. On your earth. That's the shield of faith. Remember now, on your earth. Is you protect it because of the shield of faith. That means, watch this, you got a word from the Lord that's so powerful that it protects your ears. It protects your will, mind, and emotions. You got a word. The shield of faith is built now by the word, by the word that the Lord gives you. And you begin to meditate it, then you begin to prosper in that word. Tell him about the example he gave you, Iron Man. Oh, my goodness. I love Iron Man. And this morning, the Lord showed me about Iron Man. He said, let me show you about the, about the shield. I said, okay. He said, you know every time Iron Man need to do something? I said, yeah. He said, he get covered all the way over. All the way. He get covered all the way over. He said, that's what I want to do with you. Mm-hmm. Remember now, he ain't got, well, I ain't got that thing in the middle. Remember, they, if they pull that Iron Man thing, he gone. You can't pull out the Holy Ghost. No, Hallelujah. Baby, yeah. You that can. thing was so powerful. Mm-hmm. You know, because you wouldn't think he taught you about Iron Man, but the Lord talks to you in ways he knows you understand. Right. I liked it, Iron Man. All right? Because if Iron Man get that suit on, hey, it's, it's on after that. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Look, can you see being an Iron Man? Being impenetrable? Mm-hmm. When you're one of the things in Scripture, Psalms 29 yeah. mm-hmm. and 11 say, the Lord will give you unyielding, impenetrable strength. That's your shield of faith. Right. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. Listen to verse 10 now, because okay. verse 10 is the key to 14 and 15. Uh, Ephesians 6, <clears throat> 10. In conclusion, be strong in the Lord. <clears throat> be empowered through your union with him. Look at that. Draw your strength from him. <clears throat> that strength, yeah. which is boundless <clears throat> might, <clears throat> provides. Now think about what you just said. Remember, the armor came when you got born again. Mm -hmm. This is not something that you put on every morning. I know we used to practice that, right? We used to Mm -hmm. practice getting up, putting on the armor every day, right? Right. You got to to go, you got to be upgraded from that thought to this thought. You got on the armor all the time. All the time. You got on the armor all the time. See, you got on the armor all the time. Remember, Mm -hmm. we started your protection now. It's Jesus and the Holy Ghost, and you're in the middle. Mm Mm-hmm. Jesus is truth, right? Truth is a person. Right. Prayer is a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. What we're going to talk about today now, two of those things that are yours between Jesus and prayer and the Holy Ghost. Okay. 14 and 15 is so amazing. I'm going to tie it now with, with Psalms 23, 3, and John 14, 26 and 27, and watch what we got. 
verses 14 and 15. Stand therefore, Mm -hmm. hold your ground, having tightened the belt of truth around your loins, Mm -hmm. and put on the the breastplate of integrity and of moral rectitude and right standing with God. Mm -hmm. And having shod your feet with the preparation to face the enemy with the firm-footed stability, the promptness and the readiness Mm -hmm. produced by the good news of the gospel of peace. And look at what those two awesome weapons that you have belong Mm -hmm. to you. You remember now, 23.3, right? He want to refresh you, right? Yes. He want to restore your soul. Mm -hmm. But the purpose of that is give you a revelation that you're all right with him. Yes. Did you hear what I said? You're all right with him. You're all right with the Father because of Jesus. Now the Holy Spirit comes to give you the revelation now of how much you got because of Jesus in your right. Right. All right, watch it. Mm-hmm. What you got for Jesus, you got a right to believe that peace belongs to you. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. you have the peace that passes understanding, mm-hmm. which means you can have a right to begin to decree and declare today a miracle in your mouth. Watch it. You got a right to walk in a place, no lack, no where. No lack, nowhere. No lack, no where. Watch it. Peace is, watch it, what is it? What peace? It's on the inside. Heavy. Hmm? heavy. Oh, peace is being heavy with everything hmm? good. Well, nothing broke. Nothing broke. And nothing missed. And nothing missed. When you're walking in peace now. That's right. Let me say it again. Yes, ma'am. Nothing broke. Okay. That's right. Peace mm-hmm. is being, mm-hmm. peace is being heavy with everything yep. good. Well, nothing, nothing broke. broke. And nothing missing. No lack. No lack. No where. No where. Can y'all see that? <coughs> Look at what you got. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jesus, the Holy Ghost, you in the middle. Mm-hmm. They want to convince you uh-huh. that because you're all right, because of Jesus, you've got his peace. Hmm? Mm-hmm. You've got that peace where ain't nothing broke. Nothing broke. And nothing missing nothing in you. Nothing missing. And the last thing. The last decree Jesus made before he went to the cross is the same decree he done when he came back. The last my thing he peace. said, I leave you my peace. My peace. First thing he said, mm-hmm. peace be unto you. Peace be unto See you. See what I'm talking about? So when you all understand what you got, mm-hmm. it's already a part of your nature. It's already a part of your, what about protection package? Is that a yes, good one? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Your protection package. And you know, I Come always on. um okay. I'm I'm a big proponent of peace. Okay. Because when you have peace, then you can <clears throat> think right. Yep. And you can process. Mm-hmm. Because see, the enemy of peace is strife. Yep. And that's a tool of the enemy. So if he <clears throat> can keep you in strife, if yep. he can keep you confused, mm-hmm. if he can keep you befuddled, okay. then there is no peace. Okay. And you can't Think right so that you can hear cor- hear the Holy Spirit correctly okay. to respond to that situation. Okay. I always say we are the custodians of our peace. Okay. Nobody can take your peace from you. Okay. You have to relinquish your peace. Okay. So when you are mm-hmm. a the custodian of it, okay. then not only did Jesus say, my peace I leave with you, okay. he left us the Holy Spirit, okay. which is an attribute of his for us to walk in peace, for us to have peace, so that we can have that, that, that peace in us that will cause us not to fly off the handle when something is said that we don't agree with. That peace that causes us when we hear something and we don't agree with it to leave it there. Well, look at this now. Let's go right back to verse 10. Mm -hmm. You're not a custodian by yourself. That's right. Now, that's what you have to care. He left the Holy Spirit. He left the Holy Spirit now Mm -hmm. to help you stay right. Mm -hmm. See, most people do it with, with willpower. And with willpower, you think you got to do it all by yourself. Mm-hmm. There is nothing in the kingdom mm-hmm. you can do by yourself. Mm-hmm. Nothing. He didn't create the kingdom for you to be independent. He created the kingdom for you to be interdependent with the Holy Spirit, just like he was. Remember, Jesus done nothing by himself. Nothing. You don't have to do nothing by yourself. You don't have to make a decision by yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do none of that stuff by yourself. When you're led, according to Romans 8, 14, and when you're led by the Holy Spirit, you relinquish 
decision making up to him. Listen mm-hmm. to me, do that, mm-hmm. Bob. Mm-hmm. You relinquish decision making up to the, up Holy, to the Spirit. Holy Spirit. All right? Here comes a situation. You look at the Holy Spirit and say, What would Jesus do? Oh. Mm-mm. Here comes some. You look at the Holy Spirit and say, What? Because he'd have to help you. He's had to help you, though, to do what Jesus would do. How would Jesus respond against strife? How would Jesus respond against fear? Now, unbelief. I don't mm-hmm. care what it is. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit will show you and then empower you. Remember what it said now? Excuse me. Be strong in the Lord. Be. He never tell you to be strong by yourself. Mm-hmm. Be strong in the Lord. Well, you can say, I'm strong in the Lord. Mm-hmm. I'm in power, my goodness. I'm in power because of my union with the Holy Spirit. I draw my strength from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit's strength, which is boundless might provide. Look at what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. God himself, Mm -hmm. the third member of the Trinity, is on your side, and he makes himself available to you 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. Yes. Can you see yes. that? You got a right to be whole. Mm-hmm. See, when you start saying no lack, no well now, you got a right to be whole. What about this now? Well, I want to show you this because I want you to know how you can get there. Mm-hmm. You got to change two things, though, in order to enjoy this type of protection. You've got to change your mind and you got to change your mouth twice. <laughs> You got to change your mind. Mm-hmm. You got to believe that you got the mind of Christ. Mm-hmm. But you got to have the mind of Christ twice. You got to have the mind of Christ. You got to have the word of the Lord in your mouth. Then you got to let him help you with your appetite that you know is out of order. Apostle and I were talking a few minutes ago. He told me. Now watch what he told me. He told me he does not allow Lay's potato chips in his house. Did you hear what I told you? The mm-hmm. apostle said he does not allow Lay's potato chips in his house. You know why? Because he know they'll get him in the sin. Check what I showed you. Hmm? Watch this. I went to dinner last night. I enjoyed everything on the table. I enjoyed looking at everything on the table. But there were things on the table I could not enjoy. Mm-hmm. French fries. Who? Mm. Mm-hmm. Corn on the cob was on the table, and I looked at it mm-hmm. and appreciated the grace on my life. Okay, because I didn't cheat. I didn't get in sin. Checking out the Lord has told me for the next ninety days, I need to stay away from as much starch as I possibly can, because starch do sugar, and sugar is not good for the prostrate. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm, I'm weaning my now. I'm getting the grace. Right. To wean myself with re- the help of the Holy Ghost. The grace. I'm receiving the grace. Yes. <clears throat> See what I'm talking about? Them French fries look so good it didn't make no sense. And actually, the corn good. on the cob. And, my, huh? I, I, and they tasted good. Yeah, this girl say, good. Oh my goodness. See, this girl had. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Can you see the grace on your life? What is it? Uh, you done already got convicted. No, not condemned. Right. There's no Apostles did not. Get condemned about delays. He got convicted about delays. I got convicted about sugar. I got convicted about starch. You see what I'm talking about? What? So I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, you know I love French fries. I don't like French fries. He loves. I love French fries. I love them hot. Ain't nothing like a hot French fry with some ketchup. You couldn't tell me nothing, right? But now I know they're not good for my body. Not good for my body of Christ. That's what I'm doing. I said, Lord, I receive the grace. Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about? To not do that. I want to encourage you. Every weakness that we got can be replaced with grace. Yes. First Corinthians 12. Yes. He said, my grace is sufficient. It's sufficient. It's sufficient for your appetite. Come on now. His grace is sufficient for your appetite, your spiritual appetite, and your natural appetite. You want to say something? Actually, his grace is sufficient for Everything, right? Whatever you, whatever situation mm-hmm. you find yourself right. in, there is a highway out of it yes, called sir. grace, yes, sir. And it helps you, you. to uh, whatever it is mm-hmm. that you see that's wrong. Mm-hmm. If you look in the spirit, 
there is a mm. way of escape for that temptation every, every time. time. First Corinthians 10, 13. But you have to look for it. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit will show you the door. <clears throat> we looked at the thing the other night. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. They didn't tell them the door. They had to find the door for this. Year. They was in this gas chamber, y'all. It was so powerful. They had to go in the gas chamber, take the mask off, and then find the thing. And the man in the gas chamber wouldn't help them at all. Wouldn't even tell them how to get out. They, they went to the door to get out, and the man was on the door. Wouldn't let them get out. Hmm? The Holy Ghost forces. is not like that. That's right. Hmm? The Holy Ghost is your way out of everything. He will show you how He'll to get out. He'll show you how to get out. Watch this. First Corinthians 10, 13 said, There is no temptation that will come against you where your appetite is concerned. Hmm? Does not come into everybody else. Mm-hmm. But the Father is faith. The Father is faith. Oh, my. Who will not allow you. To be tempted above that which you're able. But we're with the temptation. Always provide a means for you to escape. Do you have what you want to do for us? Mm -hmm. I want all my health back. I want my youth renewed like the eagles. And I know it's the word of the Lord for Mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Now at 75, I'm going to be restored. What about you at 26? That's right. That's right. What about 37? Mm -hmm. What about 49? You might not be 75 yet. Mm-hmm. Don't you want to get to 75 and be healthy? Mm-hmm. Now, watch it. I'm not as healthy as I'm about to be. Mm-hmm. I'm not as healthy as I'm about to be. I'm about to be. Watch this. I'm about to be as healthy as I was when I was a young man. All right? And it ain't going to make no sense because it's going to be a testimony at mm-hmm. 75. Mm-hmm. You see, it's going to be a testimony at 75. Give it up. You know what I've been talking about? I have hearing ears that do not ring. I have seeing eyes that are twenty twenty left and right, day and night. Mm-hmm. I have the tongue of the run, brand new teeth, and a full head of hair, right? Full head of now, hair. watch what the Lord told me to do today. He said, stop saying that. Okay. I said, what do you want me to say? He said, begin to say, I have as much hair on the top as I got on the side, and it's black. I said, yes, sir. Okay. Check, I got a word okay. from the Lord. Okay. See, okay. I got as much hair on the top as I got on the side, and all of it's black. Watch this. I'm going to tell you what to say. That's right. Faith come by hearing. Yes. Come on. And you know, I, I'm I'm prompted to say this to to to, to people too that okay. when we were young, we did things that were foolish oh. and we did things that were stupid. So what you talking about? But Jerry now Curry? that no. Oh okay okay. So now I'm talking about in our bodies. Yeah, I'm talking I'm, about, about them Jericho as mm-hmm. I used to get. So, well, that's I come. <laughs> right, right. But anyway, okay. uh, but I need for you to know uh-huh. that when you gave your life to the Lord, yes, sir. that's under the blood. Under the blood. Do not allow mm. the Don't enemy do Don't to do condemn you. Don't do it. Because we all did <clears throat> foolish things yes, when we, we were young. Yes, we did. And we did things that now yep. we see yep. that caused us to be in the situation that it. we're in. Yes, sir. But God <clears throat> but the Lord. and the blood of Jesus and the, of Jesus, and the power of the Holy Lord, Spirit oh can cause us yep, yep. to be redeemed, yep. can cause us yep. to walk back in the way yes, that we were intended to walk. Yes, so don't allow the enemy do to cause condemnation. No. Well, you know, when <clears throat> I was young, I yep. did such and such. Sure well, we yep. all did. Yes, we did. But the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. is what covers mm. and not covers, but eradicates <clears throat> our sins. My, I, so I when we, mm. when yeah. we, um, what's okay. the word I want to say? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Repent. Come on, when man. you repent, right. that means you turn from that yes, and you follow the leading yeah. and the guiding of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Back then, we were being foolish. Yep. We were doing everything that the enemy told us to do. Yeah. But we are under a new administration yes, now. Yeah. We are now under a yes, new man. governmental rule. Yes. So now we can use mm-hmm. what we have, who, who I'm sorry, who we have, yeah. who is the the Holy Spirit yes, to lead and guide us mm-hmm. out of those things, right. out of that condemnation, Absolutely. into Conviction. being sensitive, right? Yeah. Into the being sensitive to the yeah. Holy Spirit, yeah. so that He can convict us mm-hmm. to show us what not to do, right. so that we can be promoted and we will have a testimony hey. that can entice. Mm-hmm. 
someone else to yep. know that God is no respecter of person. Nobody. We were big time heathens. I tell y'all, well, some of us was more yeah, of a man. heathen than others, true, true, but a heathen is true. still a heathen. No, and we true. have been by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony, mm -hmm. we have been redeemed. Girl. And when we got redeemed, yeah. we were not cleaned up. Mm -mm. We were made new, new, new like we were before. Look Amen. That's why Psalms 103 says you this. Mm -hmm. As a believer, you're qualified mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be renewed. That's right. As a believer, you're qualified for your youth to be renewed. Now watch mm -hmm. this. Following the instruction will get you to testify. That's right. Let him convict you. Mm -hmm. Right? Conviction is for promotion. Don't, mm -hmm. don't think it wrong now. Mm -hmm. Condemnation is to keep you in the hole. That's right. Conviction That's right. is promotion, all right, to get you out of that place mm -hmm. to where he's already destined. You talking mm -hmm. about destiny? You destined to have good health. That's right. You got a right to be whole. Where there's nothing broken, nothing missing. It's already paid for with yes, Jesus. Yes, him and yes, the Holy Ghost yes. will help you now change your spiritual diet hmm? mm -hmm. and your physical and diet. Your physical diet. And you qualify. Conviction and correction yeah. are our friends. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Conviction and correction. Why? Because it brings about promotion. Yes, it does. Don't you want to be promoted mm -hmm. into your health? Yes. Hmm? yes. Out of sickness? Out of sickness. Into divine health? Out of darkness. Hmm? Out of darkness. Into his into marvelous, marvelous life. life. Mm -hmm. All of us is already paid for. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Can you see that? we got yes. two more minutes. Okay. Look at this now. Mm -hmm. He's in love with you. Yes, he is. You might not know the Jesus we talk about, but mm -hmm. if you tuned in, he know you. Yes. He got your attention, he wants you. Mm -hmm. He wants to give you a brand new life. Watch this. He don't want to fix you. He right. wants to give you a brand new life. Right. No, he's not in the fixing business. Mm -hmm. He's in the brand new life business. Mm -hmm. All right. And he'll give you a brand new life with a magnificent future. Then he will restore. Yes, he will. He will restore everything the enemy think he took, right. everything he stole, mm -hmm. everything he thought he got from you. Mm -hmm. Jesus has paid for you to be redeemed, yes. spirit, soul, body, and estate. And estate. Let's, Let's agree. Okay. Say, Father, Father, we're so excited. We're so excited. We saw. We saw. With Jesus. With Jesus. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. We have a right. We have a right. To be in a position. To be in a position. Where nothing is broke. Where nothing is broken. Nothing is missing. And nothing is we are missing. Ready Ready. We're ready to be convicted. To be convicted. To be, to be corrected. To be corrected. So we can be promoted. So we can be promoted. Into the greatest testimony. Into the greatest testimony we've ever had. We've ever had. And we receive it and by we faith. Receive it by in faith. In Jesus' name. In we Jesus love you all. Name. See yes, you next we week. Do. Remember now. Yes. Go and be a blessing. Cause you're already blessed. You already no lack like nowhere. No lack like nowhere. We thought we had gotten through without a song today. Oh no. No lack like nowhere. <laughs> no lack like nowhere. Amen. <laughs> See ya.